A. So a few things have changed. Oh, there's a spider way up there. OK, let me just uh, bring you guys up to speed. Uh, on the weekends, I don't tend to record uh, just because my schedule doesn't really uh, permit it. Um, but what I do end up doing is a fair bit of building and cleanup. If you notice these stairs, I kind of widened the bridge here a little bit, made it a double stair, just sort of clean things up. Um, inside, you'll see I took out everything that I had here uh, and here as well um, because it was moving day. Minecraft moving day. Um, oh, I think I think I moved that up there because I was having troubles with zombies and stuff. So, where did we move to? Well, I decided that uh, living in the side of a cliff face really wasn't the best spot to be. Now, if you recall, I had the cows that I had just gotten. Um, and I had started with some, up here there used to be some uh, reeds and, and things like that. Um, let's, uh, let's go this way. Um, I penned off the cows. So, I don't know, these guys are probably generation 10 maybe. Hey boys. I basically uh, go through and I breed a whole bunch and then I end up uh, harvesting some uh, for other leather and stuff. I put some stairs up here and now the stairs lead to the home that I built which I'll get up here just so you can get a good view of it. Oh, it's about to be uh, nighttime. So this little bungalow is uh, what I spent my weekend doing. Uh, so let's go have a tour of it. Are you hear that? I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I hear bones rattling just about every time I come through here. And they've been rattling a lot. So I've got uh, a back, this is access to get down. I've got a railing that goes around. We come in, we've got a fireplace. Um, I forgot about fire on hard, <laughs> so that's why all this is stone, because if it was wood, it would still catch fire. Um, that's why there's so much glass all around it, just because it had to be. So then over here, we've got our kitchen, uh, and you can see the kitchen. I got a nice view of the ravine, um, so I've got my food supplies there, my brewing supplies there. I've got my brew stand, I've got uh, oven, I've got my sink, my butcher block, and then here I've got stuff that I want to go in for that. I've moved my uh, enchantment table over here and started on bookshelves. Um, I haven't enchanted anything yet. And then in here, which also has a great view of the ravine as well as uh, the cows. Um, and then I also made some maps. So let me just sleep first and I'll talk about those. So maps are a bit different. Um, you can place them in item frames. And now when you, uh, when you craft a map, it's blank until you actually click to use it, in which case it will just completely fill in and uh, for any of the area that you've explored. Like if you look closely at this one, you can see a, that I'm right here. So all of this is my house. Um, but over here on the bottom edge, you can see I haven't explored out into the water. So there's still area that will show on the map is unexplored. But if you've been there at all, it will just totally reveal. Um, but when you do that, the maps, like you could be right here when you create this map and you'll get all of this area here um, because they all kind of snap to a grid now. 
Um, I've got a fair bit of diamonds, gold, iron. Um, out here, we've got my achievements. So I've built shelter now. I've enchanted my armor. See, everything's all nice and enchanted. Um, brew potions, well, we saw that when I was uh, dealing with the, the blaze monsters. Um, we did find another fortress and uh, we've mapped our world. So for food, I got a ton of beef. Uh, I do have a wheat farm and a carrot farm. I haven't found any uh, potatoes yet. And so I'm hoping at some point that, that will come along. I've encountered zombies, creepers, enderman skeletons, wither skeletons, slimes, magnum slimes, blaze monsters, and ghast. I can't think of anything else, um, but pretty much I think I've seen everybody at this point, and I've got the remains to prove it. So, nether supplies, this one is wood supplies, this one is stone, behind stone, and then this one, I had stuff basically for uh, bookshelves as they were on the way. Um, so that's that's the house. I put in skylights. Um, if I come out here, a bit of a balcony area. And again, good view of the ravine. Um, I used the glass just simply because I thought it looked better. Um, it especially does if I use a texture pack that cleans it up. I don't have a texture pack though, primarily for things like carrots. Uh, so, okay. So as I mentioned earlier, here, over here, so I've got carrots and I've got wheat. And I've got my reeds. Um, I'm a bit ahead on reed production in comparison to beef collection. So I'm going to uh, just leave those there for the moment. But if, if you listen any time around here, right about here actually, I constantly hear skeletons. So I think what we need to do is uh, go investigate this. So I'm thinking that right along here somewhere, I'll find a way in. Okay. Yeah, look. Look at that, the telltale sign. Wow. Skeleton down there. Okay, well, let's actually put that there instead. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, <laughs> I just realized I was hitting them with my bow. Well, let's see if we can't do that. So 
We've just taken up them. Pig saddles, all right, they're handy. Buckets and string. So, I now have a spawner. Spawners are interesting. With a spawner, I can, well, I won't have a shortage of arrows. I'm basically just looking to see if there's uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. I was hoping that uh, heads would be a rare drop. They're not currently. So in survival mode, there's not really much that I can do. What is that creeper down there? That bastard. All right. Let's head back. We've got that lit up, so that takes care of this little problem. Yep, zombie down there. Okay, so we can deal with that later. So if we just make our way back up. Okay, so that takes care of our zombie problem. Or our Pardon me, our skeleton problem. Uh, and what have I got? Saddles. We're going to put those. So if I carry a saddle with me, just as handy. Uh, I think I saw some string there, and I think bones are over here. Okay. So starting to put this back together. Buckets there. So, at this point, I look at my map. I kind of need to explore a bit, I guess, because I've been to the nether. I've seen blaze monsters. I could go check out some more wither skeletons, see if I can get one to drop a skeleton head. And you know what else I can do? I can enchant a few things. 16, 19. I don't know what my actual maximum can be, but so far I've seen 19. So I'll stop at either an 18 or a 19. Power two and punch. Okay, I'm not sure what that'll do, but okay. As you see, this is almost completely gone. Um, so I've got this one. I don't know if I want to enchant that. Yeah, what the heck. So at this point, I can, oh, I'm gonna wait because I'm almost at 16. In fact, I wouldn't have to do too much to get it. I gotta be quick about it. And there we go. So let's just go with that. And we'll slap 15 on this, 16 rather. Efficiency and I'm breaking, okay. That's gonna make for a good pick.
Nighttime. Now I put my bed on this side on purpose um, since there's such a vertical drop here. There's not really much that can spawn in the way of monsters. Um, just to make that point a little bit. All of this is open area. So even if a sponsor, uh, even if a monster was to appear anywhere on that land, it's still going to be fairly far away from my bed, which means that it's more likely that uh, monsters are going to spawn on this side. And uh, if they do, I'll still be able to sleep. Won't get rid of the monster, but at least I'll be able to make it daytime if I need to. So, as we do this recap, now that we've got an improved pick and an improved bow, uh, let's just take this out, shall we? There's still a couple skeletons rattling around, but that's fine. Huh? Zombie. Okay. No, the door was open. That's not good. Well, he isn't that way. I better keep some doors closed. No telling. Just remember, I did see a creeper at one point. Okay. Um, so about the diamonds, I just kind of glossed over that I've got like, what, nine or ten of them now after everything that I've got with diamond gear. The way I did that was down here. What's this? I don't remember this. Oh, is that just glitching it a little bit? Anyway, I, I came down. Anytime I needed stone, uh, all I would do is uh, come back down to level 12, and, uh, and that's what I would do, is I would get my stone. So I went down that way, and I got some. Same thing down that way. Um, and not so much that way. But uh, yeah, like down through there, more of the same. So. Basically, if I felt like I needed some stone, I just knew that. Am I going the wrong way? Yes, I am. I just knew that if I'm going to grab stone, I'm going to grab it from where I might have diamonds as well. So let's go visit the Nether again. I haven't been in all weekend. Huh? Oh. Ha! I think he just went through. Hi. All right. So we come up here. Follow the markers. Oh, there we go. That's why it looked different. That is, don't we? See how quiet it is here. I haven't bothered with uh, taking on any of these zombie pigmen, mostly because I don't really need to. I've got gold. Um, so realistically, about the only things that I have to do, that I would like to do, I guess that in part could be up to you guys. If uh, if there's something that you feel I haven't done, what's going on there? Oh, it's just stone. Okay. 
so. It's been such a long time since I've been up here. So, I come in here. No. If I go down this way, we'll get to. Uh, oh, I better eat. And I didn't bring any flame potions. But we'll test out the bow, see how it does. Now, I walled this off because behind this lava, there's another blaze spawner. Two hits, get my arrow back. So yeah, this is all uncharted area. At first I was kind of disappointed that uh, what I had found in terms of another fortress, but as it turns out, this is actually a pretty good one. I do have to go collect all of these now. Oh, jeez. Time to run. All right, so we got a couple withers. Hey, all right. I got a wither skeleton skull. Oh, crap. Time for some hasty retreat. Oh, shit. This is getting crazy. Crap. Okay. We gotta run. I'm not even sure if I'm going the right way. In fact, I don't think I am. Take care of, oh, I got one right here. Oh, yeah, go, 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 go. These guys are being problematic. Oh, great. Just run. Nice. I can only imagine what kind of damage she's making. Next time I come back, Cobblestone, for sure. But we don't care. We have a wither skull. And I was really kind of hoping to do that. Although, it's supposed to be a fairly rare drop, so uh, I'll have to go back and get some more. Because I'll need three before I can consider making a wither. And that might just be the death of me. 
Those things seem pretty nasty. All right, hope for now we retreat. And uh, I think that we might have a zombie pigman on this side. Hey, dude. Oh, we got two of you guys. Hey, buddies. Hey, come on this way. You want to come up? No? Are you going back there? All right. You guys do what you're doing. I'm putting this wither skull on a stake. I so am. You don't even know. Oh, it's getting close to dark. Let's get back to the house. It's so nice to say that. Let's get back to the house. Into my bed. So, the nether fortress is still quite dangerous. And I'm going to have to start considering armor options. But, for right now, All you monsters, take note. Oh, no, I don't want that there. Uh, this is really the entrance, right? So let's, let's put it right here. Yeah, it's a scarecrow. That's what's going on. Nice. Oh, yeah. I like it. So, I need to get uh, two more of those. Hey, no mistake. Nice. Also, uh, if I'm going back into the nether, I'll need that. Uh, what else? Zombie so meat can go up, the egg can go up, and bones. Oh, I just really, oh no, I mined that coal, didn't I? Okay. So, that's, uh, that's our episode for today. So, as you can see, Still surviving. I'm going to call you Willard.